hello everyone you welcome back to tbl kutu channel thank you for subscribing for liking for your comments in the comment section and also thank you for watching my videos god bless you so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to achieve post caging instead of buying a bra corpse basically this video is centered on bust caging for corsets you can also bust cage for bustier for princess and panel style line just to give your bust and on the bust more structure but this particular video is for corsets bra cup or bust caging for corsets should in case you have a client that the bust is on the higher size and you've been looking for the bra cup in the market and you can't find any you can opt for bust caging it's still going to give you the same result with a better structure around your cup area or bust area so without further ado let's get into the video so i have a corset pattern already made corset pattern which i'm going to be using because i don't need the whole bodies the only place i need is just around the the corset areas of the pattern so in putting both corset together this is what it gave me when i traced out and use my masking tape to put them together and this is what i'm going to be doing also in this video i'm going to be tracing out only the bust area of the pattern part and i'm going to be tracing out these areas on this particular pattern paper and i'm going to be using this fabric with sda and swayable boning with gum stay or color stay along with this swayable boning just to give it more structure so the very first thing i'm going to do is to trace out the area which i'm going to be needing for this bust caging and this is my bust area towards the under bust so i'm going to take this pattern paper place it underneath the corset pattern then what i'm going to do next after placing it properly i'll be taking my tracing wheel to trace out the bust area that is the bust the cup okay let me say the cup area i'm going to be tracing it out since this is what i'm going to be using for the bust caging so i'm just going to go ahead to trace this part out so i'm going to be tracing out this pattern separately the upper part separate the two lower parts to separate so that it can come out in form of three piece after tracing out then i'll go ahead to remove my pattern piece fold it up and set it aside to work on what i just traced out so the very first thing i am doing presently before bringing out the cup piece itself for us to see clearly is i went ahead to add my seam allowances round the traced out cups that i just did to add seam allowances of 1.5 centimeters you can use 0 0.5 inches and afterwards i'm going to be bringing out these cups with the seam allowance with my marker for us to see clearly i just want to add my seam allowance first before using a marker to bring out the shapes that i'm going to be needing once i was done with the seam allowance that i added i went in with my pattern master to bring out the shapes both the seam allowance and the cup shape itself this is what i'm doing for us to see I'm done outlining the same side the blue marker that i'm using presently is for bringing to life the actual cup size which i traced out earlier before adding my seam so this is what i have the bra cup and the seam allowance that i'm going to be using to sew so what i'm doing presently is going ahead to make some markings on the pattern paper because once i cut them off i may not know which side is which so it's very essential for me to make these markings on the pattern paper then i'll go ahead to cut these pieces out with my scissors 
I'm going to be separating these two. Then after separating, I will be adding the seam allowance to that side directly on the fabric. So for this side, before cutting it out, what I'm going to be doing is to close it up by overlapping the space in between the seam lines because I just want to have a whole piece for the upper side of the cup and I will go ahead to use my masking tape to hold it together like so and then cut off any part that I don't want on the pattern again. This is the piece that I have and this is the fabric I'm going to be using to make the bust caging cup or to make my bra cup so what i'm doing presently is after separating the part that i just need from the fabric i'm going to add my sd we go ahead to iron two layers of sd on the fabric like so this is what i'm going to do once i'm done ironing this is what i have then the next thing is to iron this gum stay but i'm not going to be using this gum stay for all the parts of this fabric where i'm going to be using it for is the side i'm going to be sewing my sewable boning just to give it more structures i'm trying to cut the fabric into two for me to go and iron the gum stay this is the piece where i'm going to be ironing the gum stay with the help of my aiming gum just to make it gum together I will go ahead to iron the gum stay on this very piece and i'm going to add an extra stay to this other piece so this is the part that has the gum stay and this other part just has three layers of stay so with these i'm going to place them together like so this is going to be the outer bra cup and this is going to be the inner one where i'm going to be sewing the soyable bone on i'm going to place them together facing each other like so then we go ahead to arrange my cup piece on the fabric leaving space in between for my seam allowance once i'm done adding the seam allowance i'm going to blend with the pencil then the next thing for me to do is just to go ahead with my scissors to cut this piece out So this is what i have after cutting out the old piece and i'm ready to work with this piece the very first thing i'm going to do is to use my pencil to leave a marking at that very side indicating that i'm going to be joining both sides of those pieces together once i remove my pattern paper from this piece it's always looking almost the same thing my pencil marking is going to help me to put together these two pieces that is the right side of the cup corset part together with the help of my pin like so i'm also going to put this other side together with my paint and then i'll go ahead to stitch both sides together like so i'll come back to show us i'm done sewing them together this is what i have i'm going to open it up take it to my ironing board iron after ironing then i'll join the center piece of the lower part to the center piece of the upper part and just go ahead to pin together to give me a whole cup piece or cup size I've gone in to print both sides together and what I'm going to be doing now is to go ahead to sew along the seam lines. Here I'm done sewing and this is what I have after sewing the piece together. I've gone into iron and this is what I have after ironing. So with the gum stay itself is more firmer and more structured so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead to add my sewable bony or to sew my sewable bony and the very first thing i'm going to do here is to mark out all my seam lines at the upper side and round the cup area so that when i'm sewing the sewable bony i won't sew it up to the seam line so this is what i'm marking presently my 1.5 centimeter seam that I added round the cup area. 
so i'm done marking my seam lines and the next thing i'm going to do is to mark the line for my bonings for the bonings that i'm going to be sewing in so i'm going to be sewing my boning along the line vertically and horizontally then i'm going to create other channels that is going to help to give more structure to the cup i'll go ahead to create another vertical line then also create the third vertical line i think i'm okay with these lines then the other ones that i'm going to be creating now is the horizontal line that is going to go around from one side of my cup to the other side so also i'll be creating three horizontal lines like so with the help of my pencil so i'm going to be sewing the first boning like so place it from that very same edge to the other one so i'm going to measure the length of the boning that we accommodate that very area then i'm going to sew it in so what happened was i never knew my camera the one on the sewing machine stopped while filming this and luckily for me i had to use the other angle of the camera this is why you are not seeing it directly facing what i am doing so with this video also it helps to cover up for the sewing process so i'm just going to go along to sew in all my boning on the lines i created so i've gone in to sew the first one i'm also going to sew in the second piece I'm sewing in right now the first line for the horizontal line so I'm adding at the very midpoint where my seam allowance is Finally, going in, in to sew in along the seam lines, that is the side line, which is going to make it hold more into place. So I'm sewing this particular place very carefully. You need to be very careful, otherwise, the sewing is not going to come out nice if you are not careful when sewing. The last one is going to be at the upper side of the cup before the seam allowance just to close up the edges at the upper part so after i was done with that part i checked my cord in my camera and i saw it was off so i was able to reset so that i can show this directly while sewing it and this is what i have after sewing this is how the inner piece is looking and this is how the outer piece it. the final thing i'm going to do is to sew in the other piece of the cup this other part is going to be the one outside while the one that is caged is going to be the one inside i'm going ahead to pin round before going in to sew This is what I have after sewing the upper part. What I'm going to do is to turn and fold this way so that I can sew in the side seams of the cup. I'm going to be cutting off excesses at this very side. I'm going ahead to sew in my seam lines. You can go ahead to iron before doing this side. I just felt 
things is going to be for tutorial purpose let me just do it and just get it done with so once you turn your main fabric to the other side go ahead to iron very well before sewing this final part that i'm sewing presently voila so this is what i have after sewing everything that needed sewing and at the end of the day i discovered this as more structural it was more firmer than the original cup that we see at the market or should i say the regular cup that we see at the market so you can either go for your bus caging or go for the normal bra cup but believe me sincerely i would rather go for the bus caging because the feel is more thicker and firmer when holding it and i think this is going to give your bust more structure and it's going to be more beautiful anyway but either of the two is a go is good to go this is what i have this is the inner piece and if you want to make the inner piece more neater you can cut another cup piece and also sew it so that it won't be as it is on the inner side presently it's going to be looking exactly the way the outer side is just go in to sew another cup piece and attach it to the inner piece before joining the other side of the cup so i went ahead to place it on the body form and you can see the vibe it's vibing it's giving exactly the work the normal bra cup is going to give so you can Try it out and let me know in the comment section what the outcome is or just send me a picture on my YouTube channel or on my Instagram channel, CPL Fashion School. And I hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching the video. God bless you. Please subscribe if you're watching my channel for the first time. Please subscribe if you've been watching my channel and you've been gaining one or two things from my channel. And also leave your thoughts in the comment section. Like. Till next time. Bye-bye.